All right, guys. So this time we're going to talk about UEBA. So before we go into that, we need to understand what is UEBA. Uh, user and entity behavior analytics, basically, that's what it says. Uh, before we understand the configuration piece, we need to understand why do we need it, the things we need it, because it's a cost, it's an administration cost and everything. Uh, and cybersecurity is all about AI and machine learning, uh, as I mentioned before. And there are many tools. So we talk about uh, Sentinel here, Microsoft Security, but again, I'll give the context because the concept is pretty much same across different products with different vendors. So how does it help? Basically, first you got to have the data, which we'll look into that. Once you have the data, it can help to you protect against threat detection, which provide advanced threat detection. Uh, what means a user behavior is not normal. How are you going to figure it out? How would you know if I'm signing in all of a sudden from California while I'm in New Jersey? How would you know? Manually, you would never know, right? So you want a system to detect my activity, my sign-in, and send you an alert, hey, Adnan is now signing in. So these kind of things. So you want to have it uh, abnormal. So it could be a legitimate alert. It could be a normal. So the system is designed to alert you that if I change my location and then whatever your process is to validate the user in signing in. So this is a security operation, basic stuff. Same thing applies to uh, data exfiltration or uh, inside threat detection. For example, if somebody all of a sudden start copying some data from your company's computer, laptop, or network server, file server, you name it, to an external copy or external Google Drive, whichever the case is, right? Box, whatever, right? So that's not normal, right? Why somebody is uploading gigs of data? So you need to be notified. So that kind of activity. So these are the capabilities available in Microsoft 365 today. In Azure, of course, you can leverage those um, activity monitoring, basically. When this is, uh, and, and this is very common uh, thing happen when it comes to cybersecurity threats and all that. People try to copy the data, data exfiltration, which can have companies' intellectual properties, some numbers, financials, and you name it. And then also when they have these alerts, you want to have the alerts to be mature. This is where the risk, you know. So uh, critical threats, high threats, you know, how you want to make sure. And then you have to prioritize. So those are the things very important. You can also uh, do the profile behavior, behavior of the profile, um, and also, once you have all these things, one thing is very important about false positive or alert for deep. I've seen it many times. So you don't want to be in a situation where uh, you see 3,000, 4,000 alerts in a day. You may, right, depending on the size of the organization. So let's say if this is a scenario, then you want to make sure you reduce it. And uh, when you want to make sure you want to reduce it, then you have to... Um, use the system to basically to mature this thing, right? So this UEBA can help you to reduce the alert for deep. And this is all AI and machine learning. So this is where it takes time to mature the organization, to mature your system, because first day you deploy it and you start ingesting the data, you're gonna get all of them. So you need 90 days or plus, depending how big or small your organization is to mature your system and then start leveraging it, start creating those alerts. So that's that's very important. And it directly impacts on your incident response, right? The more alert you have, the more uh, notification you're gonna get, then you need to respond. So you gotta make sure it's all legitimate, it's mature. I've seen scenario where people, we were getting some legacy authentication alert in Azure environment. And uh, when we reach out to those team, there was a SQL Server running 2008, so it was legitimate. So those situations happen, and so to deal with such a situation, there is no magic uh, uh, wand or silver bullet. But you need to understand the environment. You need to understand the asset and inventory. How many SQL Server you have? What version do we have? Windows Server, Linux Server. Not all of the system um, supports modern authentication and all that. You might have system supporting like legacy uh, application or infrastructure. So this is very important. Uh, that's why it takes time. And uh, that's why there's all security operations is all about, right? So UEBA plays an important role. So I'm gonna move on to the next slide where it talks about it, Microsoft, how can you enable it? As you can see on my screen, there are some prerequisites, what permission do you need? You need to go and check it out. 
But what exactly do you need? As I said before, you need to collect the data. So here is the entity behavior configuration type. Toggle is on, as you can see here. You go to Microsoft Sentinel, you need to turn it on. And only global administrator and the security administrator can turn it on. So that's important. Turn on the UEB feature to sync Microsoft Sentinel with Azure Active Directory. This is our source of data. What is supported here? So you bring your Active Directory, you bring the audit logs. Basically, you can do the research, but audit logs, anything happens in the Azure, it can keep the record of that. Activities about user activity and monitoring. Um, security events, all the security events are generated. That's there, so you don't have to do it. It's all of their by design, by default, available sign-in logs, as I mentioned. Where do you sign the user sign-in behavior changes, risky user and all that, so that's there. So if you're looking for any of the product in the market, go for the basic requirement. What do they cover? What do they give you? Like Palos, I think, uh, I'm not sure if they have UEVA. But again, whatever the vendor, <clears throat> basically, you're going to go and shop around for the same and sort capabilities. Look for these options. Or plus, whatever your requirement is. There is very difficult to answer which one is the best because it depends what your infrastructure looks like. And based on your infrastructure, sometimes you have to do the trade-offs. So in that case, um, if that helps, let me know and I will see you in my next video. Thank you and bye-bye.